Hello and welcome to the Underground. Today we're going to be doing a video request from Andrew Thompson, one of our field service techs from Philadelphia Theatrical Supply, in which he's asked me to show you guys how to save and load configurations from a Paradigm Architectural Control Processor, which may be something we ask you to do if we're looking to help you with an issue with your config or make some changes to it. So to start out here, you're going to go ahead and go into the main menu by pressing the check mark button and then arrow on down to File Operations, press checkmark. And from here, you can go ahead and say Save Arch Config, press checkmark. It's gonna give you a couple options here. First off, name, so you can change your name from there if you want. Save to USB key and save to SD media. Today, we're gonna to save to a USB key. So go ahead and put that into your drive. Arrow on down to save to USB key, press checkmark. Now it's gonna warn me since I already have a duplicate on there. You can say no to uh, not overwrite or yes. I'm gonna change it to yes and go ahead and let copy away. It's gonna take between 10 to 15 seconds to write over it, maybe a little quicker. Once you're done, you're set to go. Just email the file off or just keep it on your USB key in case you need a backup. All right, now to load a configuration, let's say you're sent one from us and we we're asked to load that, all you need to do is go back to your file operations menu and go down to load Arch Config press check mark. Here it'll give you your options of where to load from. We'll go to USB key, press check mark. And let's say there's a corrected version of something. You'll want to select whatever file you're sent. Today I made one called corrected to fix a few issues within this processor. Go ahead and press check mark and it'll begin loading. Now note that in this process your paradigm processor may stop outputting and more than likely will. Please, if you're in a DRD rack, put it into test mode to keep the lights on. If it's outputting to sensor racks or smart switches, you'll want to use the light bulb buttons to uh, set levels from there and make sure that lights do not go out. This may take between 10 to 30 seconds for a config to load. Once it's done, it will come back to the home menu and we're just about to get there ourselves. You can see right here, it's back in the main menu for the load. At this point, all you have to do is back on out until it says system okay. From there, you're good to go. If you have any comments or concerns, don't hesitate in leaving them below in the comment section. And if you have any video requests, you can either put them down there or tweet it to tech at TechServeSean. Thank you for watching.